printmaking. Your next project has to do with pop art. Now, Andy Warhol was a pop artist. He was actually working as a commercial artist. He wanted to elevate his work to a higher level. In 1962, he released a series that everybody is familiar with for the most part, dealing with the Campbell Soup Camp. Now, at this time, Campbell Soup was probably uh, very common, well, it was common, but probably every household in the United States might have had a can of tomato soup, Campbell's tomato soup in their house. So it's the, one of the most common objects in the United States. Yet he tried to elevate it to a high form of art by displaying it as a portrait. Now the critics really disliked it at the time, but the public loved it. They understood it and uh, today, Long, many years after his death, he's still one of the most collectible artists in the United States. He actually would go to the store and buy cans of tomato soup and he'd just sign them, autograph them, and give them out, or actually sell them with his autograph on them. He also did Coca-Cola, did Brillo pads, uh, boxes like that, just common objects that he felt he could uh, um, elevate to high art status. Jasper Johns was one of his contemporaries and he did a series of, of different works, targets on them, uh, different portraits of the U, uh, United States flag, did them overlaid and things like this. He did uh, colored maps of the United States on a canvas. Now this is another pop artist. This was Roy Lichtenstein, and he liked print media. And so he did a lot of uh, pieces of work, quite a, quite a few of them were very large, and he painted them as though they were printed in newspapers and comic books with a dot matrix. So there you have a hot dog. This is actually simply uh, a satire on Jasper Johns. Now this is a very famous work by uh, Vincent Van Gogh, it was his bedroom. The original painting is a fairly, fairly small canvas, um, but he's updated things, he has Bauhaus chairs, uh, you know, he's got modern things in there, replacing the ones from his, Van Gogh's original bedroom, and that gives you an idea of its scale. Klaus Oldenburg was actually a sculptor, but once again, he's taking very common objects and by increasing their scale, he's making them very monumental. This is a baseball bat in uh, Chicago. This is a clothespin pinching the earth. This is a piece uh, in Europe, a big ice cream cone on the corner of a building. This is a, a pickaxe, and it's just a very common object, but its scale is very, very large. Now here's some student work. These are things that some of the students have done over the years. Um, I don't have a lot of examples, but here's the Liberty Bell. This is a, a water bottle, specialized. The Gatorade bottle. Okay, there's a baseball cap. Now this next one is what I've kind of warned you about. When you're doing text, if you write it out properly and on the block and cut it out, you're going to re be printing it in reverse. And so you're going to end up with a reverse print. So you always have to think ahead and reverse it when you cut it out so it will print you know, forward. So your assignment is just like the pop artists of the 60s, is to find a common object and make a print of it and try to elevate it to a higher status in art. You're going to be working on a 3x5, you can do it, uh, it's a mounted block, 3x5 inches, you can do it either horizontally or vertically.